What's going on guys, T2RX6 here back for a Creo review and one of the things that was asked of me when I uh, did my contest, I asked you guys to say what you wanted to see reviewed and someone said Creo. Now Creo is interesting, um, their bot modes and their vehicle modes kind of fudge it a little bit. This is Jazz here, um, they're not bad. Uh, they're, they're building blocks, so you kind of have to take them with a grain of salt that they're not going to look perfect uh, because they all are made of bricks. And unfortunately, reviewing these types of things just takes too long. I may do one someday, but I really don't have too many of the building sets. Um, and just to break down and bring it back to a bot mode just takes too much time, in my opinion, to do. Uh, and frankly, a lot of my day already goes away when I film these reviews. But th I do urge you to check some of them out. These, like the Bumblebee, here's Bumblebee in bot mode. These are just the real budget. I believe they were like $10. I think I got them for $5. Uh, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. They're cool. You should check them out. Uh, they're really fun. If you like Legos, check them out. They're worth it. And so are these bigger ones. I mean, one thing that's kind of cool from a customizer standpoint, like... The head sculpt is actually like just as good, if not better, than uh, what we get on the deluxe toys. Here's uh, Bumblebee's head. Focus, there we go. That's a pretty solid head, so you could make a nice custom Bumblebee with that head. Or Optimus Prime actually looks pretty much like... Let's get Jazz out of here so this will focus. That looks almost, almost like it came directly from our classics toy in terms of what we've got there. So really nice heads and stuff that go on these robots even if the end result is kind of strange. But if you like Lego, totally worth it. This is from the uh, Barricade Auto Trooper set and it's a little motorcycle and obviously the motorcycles are cheap but this is something I've never seen Lego do and if they have you know, they've done tons of stuff since, you know, I was a little kid, but I never saw Lego missile launchers, and here's a little missile launcher made by Creo. If Lego did it, I'm sure they did. Awesome, but this was my first experience with it, because I don't really play with Legos. But what are by far the drop-dead stars of the Creo line are the actual Creons. And they are, you know, little tiny incarnations of our ca favorite characters in little, like, Lego Man, for lack of better term, form. But better than that, because, and let's bring this down, because we are working with a small thing here. They have a little bit of shoulder articulation. And I think that that's just kind of pretty cool there. Um, they usually come with the gun accessories, and underneath they kind of look like that. But you put his helmet on and all of a sudden that's Optimus Prime. So I do have a lot of the Creons. Uh, I've managed to get them offline. I don't have most of the Creo sets but whatever. Uh, I enjoy the Creons more. Now they have started releasing these little blind package versions which actually do transform. Well they parts form more than they transform. This is Waspinator and as you can see He's a tiny little wasp, and I really like these blind pack things, and I am sold on them. I will be hunting down all the blind packs. They don't stay together too terribly well, um, because you're utilizing the little Lego, or Creo, man in a certain way that, you know, the, the ports are not really designed to work that way too well, but, you know, you can see they kind of hold together a bit. Maybe not. There we go. Mostly the problem is my hands working with these little tiny guys. So this is Waspinator. I like the bugs the least of these blind pack sets. Here is Scorpionock. And uh, yeah, little scorpion there. Kind of cool. Let's go on to... Uh, this one is kind of boring just because... It's the Seeker mold, and he's kind of just looking down with a little cone on top of his head, and 
his legs are there. Yeah, it's okay. Sunstorm. We've got Crank Start, which is a little like dune buggy off-road vehicle. So that's kind of neat. My personal favorites of this blind pack wave, darn you. Waspinator, stay together. I don't like Waspinator very much. <laughs> he is the one that falls apart the most for me, personally. There we go. Uh, one of my favorites of the set is by far this little Galvatron who just turns into this awesome little cannon. Yes, his head is exposed, who cares? Um, the instructions actually tell you to put it like that, but I don't feel you can get his legs far enough back, so I just flip him like that so he has better range of motion, and that cannon stays. And that's cool. It's a little Lego man that turned into a Galvatron cannon. And finally, my very favorite of the blind pack is uh, Spinister, who... Turns into a fairly convincing helicopter, like if you look carefully, it's just him lying down with some parts attached. But, you know, it does pull off a good helicopter. You got the little tail rotor back here. The helmet does look like a helicopter cockpit. Kind of reminds me of that one little Minicon. So, that is the blind pack here in their alt mode. Um, alt modes, quote unquote. Let me just show you, I'm going to use this one here because I do actually kind of need the instructions sometime to see where they tell me to put parts, but Sunstorm is easy enough. Let's just get him back to his robot mood. And I'm actually missing a piece here. Oh, there it is, okay. So you do, he is parts former, so you do lose some, pe or take some pieces off and leave them. And so he takes Sunstorm, put his shoulder wings back on put his head back on put his feet and then attach his little null rays here whoops slanted table and then they just kinda tell you to make this little device thing with these other two pieces. So that's just kind of the example of the types of transformation you're gonna see out of these little Creon blind packs. So let's go and I will just get everybody else into their bot modes and I will show them all close to the camera. And I will actually show all the other Creons I have here. So let's go through some Creons in their robot modes, or the only mode some of them have. Here is Sunstorm, which you already saw. And I'll do a group shot of all these guys at the end, but it's really hard to get them to stand. This is Waspinator, who they tell you to put the Jazz helmet back on that he comes with. I think he should keep it because of his unique face tampo and uh, his little wings hanging off his back. Scorpionock, one of my personal favorites here. Um, I really like his face and his helmet there and the little scorpion tail. Pretty cool. My One of my personal favorites from the set is Spinister. And Spinister comes with or makes this uh, giant chain gun thing that's really hard to get him to stand with. But I do like Spinister. My personal favorite in bot mode is Galvatron, of course, and uh, he does come with a big backpack assembly, but that's unnecessary. And finally, the last one of the blind packs is Crankstart, who comes with a chest piece that his uh, cockpit sits on, and it blocks half his face, so I don't use that. And I kind of like how he looks in his robot mode, too. So let's get on to the other Creons that I own. I've got, you saw previously, last week, Cliff Jumper. And with Cliff Jumper, you got a three set of Viacons. You got the vehicle version, just kind of a generic version, and a winged 
flying flight mode vehicon. And converse to that, you had a barricade set. Uh, no clue which barricade this is supposed to be because it's certainly not one that you know we've ever seen before. And with him, you get the auto trooper set. And you have kind of your generic one. You have your car one because he's got car doors on him. And you've got your flying auto trooper. Now, these other Creons, aside from Jazz, I just basically found people selling them online and bought them. So, here's Optimus Prime. I showed you him earlier in the review. And, you know, it's just all the same toy. But something about it is just cool. Uh, Ratchet here, who my Ratchet can't look out his helmet. It just, I don't know, maybe that's the way it is. But when you put his helmet on, you can't see his eyes at all. Maybe they thought that was a visor. Hmm. I don't know. Red Alert. Looking pretty cool. In his little Creon form. Prowl. Also looking pretty good with that cocky little smile on his face. Skywarp. Whoops. Hitting the camera there. Skywarp. I like the colors on him. He has chrome feet. Which is strange. Bumblebee. Same as Cliff Jumper. Again, sadly, Cliff Jumper is just a repaint. <sighs> Poor Cliff Jumper. Jazz, which is one of the few Creo sets I own. I'd like to get the uh, Big Optimus Prime set at some point, but I'm just kind of waiting until I can see that at a cheap price because I don't want to pay that much. And my two personal favorites from here is Soundwave. And let's see, we'll take off his hat, and his face looks like that underneath, which is unique to Soundwave, as far as I know. And finally, Shockwave. And I love Shockwave, he's one of my favorite little crayons, with just a dead eye at the underneath. So, yeah, crayons are kind of cool. Well, crayons themselves are awesome. Creo is pretty cool. I would say check them out. If you're a fan of Lego, they're definitely worth getting. If you just like the minifigures and stuff, well, the blind packs are here. And I'm really looking forward to see what the little blind pack uh, combiners actually do for us because they are some cool little figures. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.